today I'm doing something that I've been meaning to do for a very long time. As at Christmas I got myself a new bivvy bag and I haven't been out in it yet. I had promised myself I'd be out once a month and we're now in May. So tonight's the night, 38k to work and then we're going to head out to the coastline to our little uh, favourite spot uh, near St Andrews at Tensimere Beach, sleep by the sea and then in the morning I'll ride back home. Waking up in the flower bed, the sun is up, table set, we eat and drink. I made it to the River Tay, so Dundee's just the other side, two miles, straight across the bridge. Body and bread, blood and wine, there's a time to live, time to die, and a time to breathe. Slow down. Listen for a heartbeat. We uh, live in the countryside, but work at in the cell. I work in the city. Lindsay still works in the sort of countryside, but it's nice. I have a late shift tomorrow, so I can ride out after work tonight and then the camp. No problems. With everything in motion. Say a word. Hold a hand, life is not the sum of what we plan, but the in between. This miracle of human life and the body and time that we occupy, it is all together sacred. Slow down. So, this is the ship Discovery. Uh, which is kept here in a dry dock in Dundee on the waterfront along right next to the new V&A Museum. I'm going to jump across the Tayro Bridge and head along the coastline. I've got a couple of croissants in the bag and some coffee and a micro stove so tomorrow morning I'm already looking forward to just have to go to find myself a nice little pitch and test out this new bivvy bag. Very exciting. So as well as building the V&A we also have a large sculpture of a whale. That is the whale. And listen for a heartbeat. Oh, they have a nice. Motion. We're here now. See the beauty there's woven. The old clock towers, those bells were just ringing there. I don't know if you'd even be able to see it. The houses. It's something that's so nice about living in a still quite historic and rural area. Church bells ring on the hour, every hour. In every single moment. I don't think that's going to be the way. Time to backtrack a little bit. This is more like it. We've reached the beach. I'm roughly where I remember having been on the map. So somewhere along here should be a nice flat bit just up off the beach. There we go, that'll do. I'm not going to be fussy. Oh, I'm always fussy. Guess who's going back to the same place they saw where they first thought they could camp? Because it was the best. Okay, so I'm in. Um, first time actually properly bivvying and it was an interesting experience uh, getting 
to be in the bivvy without having to uh, get any sand in it, without getting uh, where do you put your clothes, what order do you do things in, um, how would this work if it was raining, <laughs> which is a big question. Um, my bike's just here beside me and I've got my helmet I've just left out. The clothes that I was wearing I've taken off and I've put them into my tail bag which is where my sleeping clothes and like woolly hat stuff came out of. And then my hip bag that I had on earlier uh, I've put that into my bar roll where my sleep system was. And in here it's quite cool really. I've got uh, a little insulated uh, vest in case I get cold later on. I have got uh, some nuts, a saurin, a little wrap. I've got a litre of water and my phone. So, yeah, I'm really quite impressed. The weather tonight is probably about eight or nine degrees, which is uh, about the highest it's been on average uh, overnight. Um, so that's nice as well. It's just giving me a little bit of leeway for getting changed. This is the edge of the sea. Uh, the edge of the sand dunes there's a beach and then the sea is just there it's low tide right now so six hours or so by the time I get up the sea should be right in so see you tomorrow can't resist really midnight snack starving Well, good morning. See if we can let a little bit more light in. Oh, wow. The sun is up. Oh, it's blinding. That was actually surprisingly comfortable. The new airbed, obviously, I think has helped that an awful lot. And uh, little, some little bits of moisture. But not, not too bad. Um, not damp or anything. But you hear some horror horror stories about babies condensation. Um, I could maybe have had the vent open a little more than I did, but it was fine. And yeah, gonna have a little lie in for a while, and then get my croissants and get my little micro stove out and see if it's going to work. Let's try and get a coffee on the go sit here and enjoy this beautiful sunny blue sky day there we go there's a bit of dew on everything here as well that won't take long to burn off what a place Time for breakfast. Ha ha ha. No lighter means no hot coffee. It's a bit of a bummer. I thought I had a little lighter always in my little wash kit for emergencies, but it would appear not. Flat croissant with light coffee.
so that's it done. The first bivvy of 2023. First uh, real proper bivvy out. I once went out bivvying with some friends when I was about 16, 17. And we were just sleeping in a bush in a sort of three-way head-to-toe formation in these bivvy bags. But we had a little uh, gas or not a little liquid fuel stove with us that was just burning in the middle just whilst we chatted away and it had burnt out i went to top it up but unfortunately it was either still too hot or there was maybe a little flame i couldn't see and it lit the bottle of fuel that i had in my hand which i promptly then swung back and then launched further away creating a spiralling spitball of flames and small bits of liquid fuel on fire over a beautiful Gore-Tex bivvy bag which my father had sourced for me, borrowed from a friend. Less to say I was, had some explaining to do in my return. That was my last experience in a bivvy and uh, yeah it was very good, things to learn but uh, genuinely uh, really impressed and enjoyed. I might have to do a post-work bivvy more often. I certainly hope to, if it's going to be like this. So this is the first day of really feeling like summer. Balmy, sit outside t-shirt weather. You could probably have done with some sunscreen. La da 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 La da 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 La da 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 La da 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 Tomorrow's still a mystery Surrounding you and me will hold us together. Slow down, listen for a heartbeat. With everything in motion, home sweet home in the shadows of the Lumen Hills that are over there. That's uh, 40k on the way to work, 20k last night, which was slow and quite tough. And then a slower uh, 40k again today, more off-road. Yesterday was just a blast to work. Don't think I've gone that fast with the bike packing rig before, because I took a, took a wrong turn. And then I was about five, six k off route, so I had to speed it up a bit. <laughs> 